Psachim Daf Chof Hey Afrei Lechem Chanukah. A picture from Morty Tiffenbron from Rama Gimel in Bet Shemesh, learning the Daf. An email from Herzi Hasenfeld. A chassid of yours from day one of the eight minute Daf. I know you're a gronik, but you can still have chassidim, says Herzi. Thank you. So yesterday we had Shitas Abaya, that Kilei Hakerem, according to everyone, you can get Malkus, even if you use it, Shaloi Kedar Hanasai, not in its intended use. For instance, if you took the Kilei Hakerem and you rubbed it on your body, you're supposed to eat it, you get Malkus. Why? Because the Torah doesn't say Achila. So the Gemara asks an amazing six step question. We know that Basar Bechalov, the Torah says, You shouldn't cook meat together with milk. But it doesn't say anything about eating milk together with meat or benefiting from Basar Bechalov. So, how do you know that you can't eat and can't benefit from Basar Bechalov? So the Gemara says, We learn Achila from Xerish Shava from Trefa. And we learn Hana, and here's where it starts, from a Kavachimer from Arla. Arla, there was never an Avera done. You planted a tree, the first three years you can't eat from it. Yet, it's also to benefit from it. So, Basa B'chalav, that you did an Avera, you combined the two ingredients when the Torah tells you not to, certainly you shouldn't be able to benefit from it. Says the Gemara, but Arla never had a Shasa Kaisha. There was never a point in time when this fruit was mutter. Whereas basar by itself and chalav by itself, they're both individually mutter. It's just when you combine them together, it's asr. Says Gemara, I'll prove it to you from chametz. Chametz, before pays, it was 100% mutter. Now it became asr. Says the Gemara, well, chametz is different. Chametz is very severe because it has kars. And here comes the point, says the Gemara, but kileya kerem will prove that even though it doesn't have kars, it's still asr ba'ana. Now, if Abayah is correct, that Kilia Kerem, you could be over, you get Malchus even without benefiting Shaloi Kederach. So then what's the right from Kilia Kerem? It's so severe, it shouldn't be part of a Kabbalah Chaimer to learn anything out from. And Abayah says, therefore, it doesn't say by Basa B'chalav, Achila, to teach us that it's even Basa B'chalav is Asr Bahana, even Shaloi Kederach, just like Kilia Kerem. Now, Kilei Akerem, when you plant it, it becomes Asr when it takes root. But if, for instance, you take a pot that has a perforation in the bottom, has a hole, and allochically it draws nutrients from the ground. So if you move it through a vineyard, it depends. If it grew one two hundredth of its final growth, or, or what it is right now, one two hundredth of what it is right now, since Kilei Akerem is bottle in two hundred, and this is more than two hundred, it's not bottle, and it's asr. Says the Gemara, when it comes to Isuri Hana, anything that's asr for you to benefit from, it's permitted to use when there's a pikuach nefesh. For medicine, pikuach nefesh. Besides the Gimel Chamuras, Avedizara, Shvichas Domim, and Gilu Arayas. By Avedizara it says, we say it in Kriya Shema every day, V'chol nafshecha, v'chol ma'idecha. You have to love HaKadosh Baruch Hu with your soul, with your entire body, and with all your belongings. There are some people that love their money more than their body. It's hard to understand. And most people love their body more than their money. So the Torah said it for both of these people. If somebody points a gun at you and says, I will kill you if you don't kill another Jew, you have to take the bullet. Why? It's common sense, says the Gemara. Who tells you that your blood is redder than your friends? In other words, who told you that HaKash Baruch Hu loves you more than him? Perhaps HaKash Baruch Hu loves the other person more and he wants him to survive. Ravina, says the Gemara, took from the very young olives of Arla, which are Asr, Bachila, and Hana, and he rubbed it on his daughter's body to heal her from a high fever. Says the Gemara, either because it was a Sakana, and as we said, you're allowed to save somebody nefesh with Chal Yisum Shavat and this is not Gila Rashi Chizdam and Aved or was Shaloi Kederach, since they were very young olives, it was Shaloi Kederach. And the Gemara goes into a big sugya, and it will continue into tomorrow. What happens if you have Hana Bal Karchach? In other words, let's say there's a house of Avedah Zara that ha- that's giving off a good fragrance, and you walk by it and you smell that fragrance. 
So the Gemara says it depends. If you have another route you could take, it's Efshar, and you have Kavana to enjoy that fragrance, so you have two things going against you, it's 100% awesome. If you have two things going for you, it's Loi Efshar, the other route is more difficult, and you have zero Kavana, 100% Mudra. If it's Efshar, you have it, another route and you decided not to take it, but you have zero Kavana, over here we have the famous machlaikas between Rabbi Yehuda and Rabbi Shimon. Dover Shane is Kavin, is it mutter or asr? According to Rabbi Shimon, it's mutter. According to Rabbi Yehuda, it's asr. And if you have just kavana, but it's loy efshar, you don't have another choice. So the machlaikas are buying If Rabbi Yehuda, who typically says Dover Shane is Kavin asr, will be matter in this case, why? Because we see that Rabbi Yehuda holds that there's no difference between kavana and no kavana. All we care about is Efshar and Loi Efshar. And over here, since it's Loi Efshar, so perhaps Rabbi Yehuda says Abaya will agree that it's Mutter. Says Rava, no. Rabbi Yehuda only says there's no difference between Kavana and Loi Kavana to be Machmer on Shabbos. You drag a bench and you, through dragging the bench, you create a ditch in the ground. You're Chayev, even if you don't have Kavana, Lechumra, but not Lekula to say that he should be Potter. Have a wonderful day.